Hi friends, today we're bringing the flavors of Oktoberfest to home by making some crispy golden German potato pancakes, yum, and some homemade applesauce. Those two will pair well for a great uh, festive dish to serve to your family and friends. You can do it for breakfast, dinner, or just a snack. But we're taking that Oktoberfest celebration and the flavors are just gonna be wow. So keep watching to see how we make this easy recipe. Let me tell you, it's easy. So keep watching. We are going to start out with our applesauce because it's gonna take less, it's gonna take about a half an hour, less than an hour to do the whole thing between prep. I'm gonna get my pot. You can do Dutch oven or I just used a pot like this. Need a good size pot. We're gonna use about 10 apples. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a half a cup of water. Um, getting that good and hot. And we're gonna put our chopped apples. So I went ahead and got started because you know that could be a little boring just sitting there watching me peel and cut up. 10 apples. So I am using a variety of apples in this applesauce. I got a couple of Granny Smiths. I've got um, some Cosmic Crisp, some uh, Jana, or what was it? Not, no, not Jana. Um, Fuji apples and some Cosmic Crisp. So it'll give, oh, and Macintosh. I can't forget the lovely Macintosh. So one way to make it easier for you to um, cut your apples is just go ahead and cut the one end off and then the other. Try not to take a ton of apple off, but that just gives you a nice flat surface so your apple doesn't rock around. And it's so much easier to peel. Let me see if I can get a little closer. There we go. And you'll see this is so much easier to peel like this. So depending on what part of the country you're from, you know, you can use different apples that are kind of indigenous to your area or easily accessible to your area. And I live in the Pacific Northwest, so these are some of the apples we have. I used to live in the Northeast for many years, and uh, there's some varieties I really miss that I can't get here. This time of year, though, they do get some Macintosh in, which is a great eating apple. It's sweet and tart, and it's a soft, it's a softer apple. They're great for um, apple pies, but yeah, this mixture should do us good. And we're just going to peel that up. See how quick that is when you cut off that? It's just easier to handle, and you can real quick just peel them. I was thinking, eh, do I want to use my core today? Some of the apples that are soft, that apple core works really well. And that water is already starting to heat up. And I might take it off the heat just because I'm not quite ready. And this batch i know it seems like oh 10 apples but this is really going to cook down it's not going to be a huge portion really now some of the research i did on like really good applesauce is almost always there's like golden delicious you see that's like the perfect apple but i didn't get back to the store today and i didn't get any golden delicious so this is what i had on hand <laughs> And I really wanted to make those German pancakes, so this is going to be the perfect addition to it. So I'll we'll just use our little apple core. That's really quick. Just going to put it over the center where the stem is. Push down and twist. But you got to make sure you get it in the middle because sometimes it's off a little bit. It's like that one. I can see there's a little apple in there. I like using the core because you don't waste as much apple because we could go ahead and go. A lot of people just go alongside 
but still I got a little bit of core. And you go chop, chop. Chop, that's a pretty quick way. So if you're in a rush, but you still gotta, if you, you still have to dig out some of that core, so with a paring knife, because you don't want that in your applesauce. Now, every fall, pretty much, when we lived in the Northeast, we just always made applesauce pretty much every year. We lived in upstate New York, the Big Apple, and they are, they have tons of apples. There are tons of varieties, and we used to go apple picking a lot, and buy big utility bags of apples, and just make all those favorite apple dishes. So I did some like that. Let's do some like this. So I'll get these cut up. We'll we'll slice them up, and we'll be back. I've taken that water off the stove, and I just put it back on because that was ready, and I wasn't. So I was, I've got the last two apples. Gonna chop them up, and I'm chopping them up in cubes. They don't have to be precisely the same, but generally. Uh, the same size because then it cooks even. Uh, and this is going to be more of a chunkier applesauce. It's the way I like it. And we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice to this too. So once we get this cut up. Now the Macintosh are going to cook really a lot quicker than like the um fiji apples they're denser the cosmic crisp they're a little bit denser so that water is starting to simmer probably need about two tablespoons of lemon juice let's see what we got here you know what we got two i already did half we don't even need to do the other half right now so let's go ahead. Let me turn this to the pot and position that. There we go. So we're going to take all our apples, dump them in there. This is so simple. We're going to put our lemon juice. Let's get a little stir. It smells good already. Mm, smells good. I'm going to put that on a medium high. We'll use three tablespoons of brown sugar. One, two, three. We're going to use a little bit of star anise extract. It would be great if I had the whole uh, little star anise actually the little i don't know if you call it a flower or a pod let's see if i can get this open maybe we'll have this yeah i got it we're just going to use about a quarter of a teaspoon you don't need much that's a strong flavor and then we'll use a little cinnamon And you can use a cinnamon stick if you have, have it. a couple cinnamon sticks. I just have one left, and I'm saving that for I make a homemade tea. You know what? Let's just shake. There we go, Bob. Teaspoon. And we're going to use a pinch of salt. Oh, excuse my head. thing about applesauce is you really want that apple flavor to to shine. And sometimes I can get carried away. And it's almost like a pumpkin or an apple pie. <laughs> but we do want the apples to shine, but I do like the cinnamon and all that flavor in there. 
Now, usually I'll use a little bit more sugar. I'll even use granulated, but I'm trying this out to see how I'm going to like it with not as much sugar. Oh, that smells great. All right, we're going to put a tight-fitting lid on there. We'll let that cook for 20 to 30 minutes. And we'll get our masher and mash those up. So now So I scrubbed, peeled, rinsed four potatoes, and I probably, oh, I pat them dry also. And then I used about a quarter of a medium onion. In the end, I didn't use that whole bit. I ended up using about two tablespoons of chopped onion, and I just used my mini chopper. Um, but you can make them the pieces a little bit bigger, but... Uh, that's what I did there. Let's give our applesauce a check. This is, it's got like three minutes to go and it's doing great. I've turned it down to low. Probably could turn it up just a tad more. Just wanted to keep an eye on that, make sure I don't scorch them. Let's just turn it up to um, medium low. All right, so now we're gonna shred our potatoes. Uh, we're going to grate them. I'm going to try this uh, grinder here. I could put them through the food processor, but I thought this will be quicker and less cumbersome. Just got to watch your hands, your fingers, when you get down to the... And we're going to, once we shred these, we're going to put them in a on a clean the dish towel and just drain out any extra water and I did go ahead and chop up finally some onion half of the batch will be without onion because um, they're my husband he doesn't like onion but he wanted to try this uh, recipe and so I'm going to make fine with onion because I want it the authentic way and I think the applesauce will be great addition. And I'm using um, four russet potatoes. It recommends, I read quite a few recipes. And you can use Yukon Gold also. I would have used four of those and two uh, golds if I had them. But I only had the russet, so. And I didn't want to make a huge amount. So I thought, really, this is going to be plenty enough. Probably even three potatoes probably would have been enough. 
We're going to just add some salt and pepper to this, a little bit of flour, some egg. Very simple recipe. Shred, shred, shred. little bit of peel on there. I, I said I washed these potatoes, scrubbed them down, and then peeled them, and then rinsed them. And then I dried it with paper towel. I think I'm only going to use three potatoes, because this is a lot. Let's check the applesauce again. Let's take our paring knife. And you can see the apples. That's why we didn't add that much water because the apples have their own juices. They're really almost done. I would say like five more minutes. And then we just have to mash them. Start. All right. All right, let's finish shredding these. Let me know in the comments if you, oh, my head is chopped off. Let me know in the comments if uh, you've ever made these. I've always thought about making them. I can't believe it. But I've never. Maybe I have. Who knows? I mean, I've been cooking for so long. But if I did make them, I certainly don't remember. thought one time I've made um, like a potato pancake, like, but I think it's been like with leftover mashed potatoes and you add some seasoning in it. I can't remember if you add an egg to that, but and I'm being really careful. That's why I'm not going all the way down to the edges with, with that. This, these are probably cooked down to not much of anything. So I'm going to go ahead and use that fourth one since I didn't use the whole potato. So that probably equals a whole potato there <laughs> that I didn't use. All right, so let's get our clean dish towel. We're going to spread that out. I just used the same bowl I had my apples in. <laughs> I don't think that will hurt anything. They're already turning a little discolored from the oxi oxidizing, so. All right, and then we're gonna squeeze that. So let me get a little, clean this up a little bit and put a bowl under there. And we're gonna you can use peanut oil, vegetable oil to cook these in. Um, you want a high smoke rate oil. And I'm going to use coconut oil. 
It's just what I have the most of, so. Well, let's go ahead and squeeze that liquid out. Now let's wait a little bit. Let's get our preparations for the batter. So we need uh, two eggs. Now I don't, this recipe, the one I'm semi using has six potatoes. So looks like maybe one egg would have been enough, but I'm going to go ahead and use two. I think probably one egg probably would have been enough, but anyway. All right, so we're going to beat the eggs. We're going to put the flour in. We're going to use, uh, where's my measuring? We're going to use about two to three tablespoons of flour. Hmm. I don't know what I do with my tablespoon. I thought I had it right here. Oh, well. Oh, here's a teaspoon, so we'll use that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's two tablespoons, because that was a teaspoon. All right, and what's next? we got to put some salt and pepper. We got about, let's see, what's this, a teaspoon? Can't remember if this was a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. Yeah, it's a teaspoon. And some black pepper. I'm going to check that applesauce. It's going to be fine in the pot. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because we'll just have to mash it. Half to one teaspoon of fresh pepper. Probably more like a half. All right, let's whisk that together. And then we're going to add our potatoes to that once we... I didn't check how long I needed to beat this, but I figure I'm just trying to get the lumps out of the flour, so. I think that's probably good. All right, let's go ahead and drain out that liquid. If you can see that. Let me get my camera a little closer. There we go. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of liquid in there. <laughs> and I'm supposing the potato water. Did I have cinnamon in there? No, I don't know why. That's a little brownish. It's the potato that we're fine. All right. Hopefully we squeeze those out good. And let's add this to the bowl. This is the messiest part. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have a lot of little shredded potato on my floor. I didn't mop the floor today because I knew I was doing a lot of cooking. So I'm like, I'll mop it later. Hmm. All right. All right. Let me clean this up. And we'll
put the coconut oil it's on medium high right now let's go ahead and uh, stir this up a little bit and coat our potatoes I didn't use much salt I feel like it probably would need more salt but I'm going by many recipes and most recipes don't have a whole lot of salt so all right so we're just going to take a spoonful let's actually want that oil to shimmer a little bit let's see because we don't want to put it in there when it's not ready because it'll get just soggy takes about three minutes per side so i'm going to put two in well maybe three We're just going to flatten them out a little bit gently. Turn that heat down a little. I just had that up kind of high to. Ooh, they look nice. I don't think it's going to take three minutes per side. Oh my gosh, these are already, I'm happy with them. We'll see how they taste. Let's see if I can get a close up. Yeah. You don't need to see me. You need to see the star of the show. So I'm not going to play with them a lot. Why don't we put this on for one minute? Because we've already had it on there for maybe a minute. Have it on medium to heat. And I think some people serve this with like with creme fraiche or sour cream. You could do something like that. Little chives, a little little bacon little crispy bacon I don't have any of that I do have sour cream though then I have what like a quarter inch of oil on the bottom these are looking good I'm excited my husband got some Oktoberfest beer to go with this so we'll have our truly but we could do if you i was looking for apple cider which i didn't find any good apple cider out yet so we could have that with it all right so let's do another minute but i don't think it's going to need it. one more minute yeah These are cute. Not to be very careful when we turn them over. Now, when I've seen lots of recipes of these, they are pretty golden brown. So maybe we will go the three minutes because we're getting close to it. All right, I'm at 20 seconds. I'm impatient. Let's flip that over without splattering it we probably could have went the other 20 seconds i'm going to turn the heat down a little bit it's getting a little smoky because as this sits on the heat it's the pan's going to get hotter. The oil's going to get hotter. I did this for, oh, two minutes. And these are recommended to, isn't that pretty? These are recommended to be eaten right away.
We could put some paper towels on our plate to soak up any of the extra oil. I'm going to double them up. Put that on my plate. I got a little plate to set them on. We're a few seconds shy of it, so let's go ahead and remove those. Let them drain. All right, so let's put in some more. Where's my little spoon? One. At least I'm going to make a little bigger. Two. And three. I'm gonna pat them down. All right, we're ready to do that next batch. And I'm not going to use all this onion. I'm going to use probably like two tablespoons. Got fresh oil in there. And let's go ahead and make the traditional one. All right, that timer on. I do it for two minutes. I get more paper towels. I have one plate for the plane and one plate for the onion. And while we're waiting for those, let's go ahead and mash up our applesauce. That's what it looks like. And there's a lot of liquid in there, but once we get mashing it up and find where I put my masher, oh, it's on the table. And you, if you have an immersion blender, which I do, but I don't want to dirty another piece of equipment, so I'm just using this. This works just fine. Oh, I'm not getting my head in there. And you could have it as fine as you want, or if you like it chunky. And the different apples will give you that chunkier texture because like I said those softer apples like the Mac Macintosh they are going to really cook down all right we'll put that in a bowl in a little bit here Ooh, these are ready to flip it says we got 34 seconds but And get it flipped. <laughs> ah. Careful. I can smell the onion in there. It smells good. And it's a lot more watery. I don't know if I was supposed to drain those onions. From their liquid probably but i didn't so So on this side, these are the plain without the onion. They look pretty good. Those were the first batch. And here's the second batch with the onions. And they smell really good. So I can't wait to dive in. All right, let's dive in. Nothing like the present. Let's get a little fork. See how these go, and this is my first time making these.
I'm definitely going to get a one with the onion. And I'm going to take a little dollop of sour, sour cream. Put that in the middle. Let's give a taste. Here it goes. Mmm. Mmm. Those are good. And I was worried about it not being salty enough. That's good. Mmm. I'm happy with that. Mmm. -mm -mm. Now let's taste the apple sauce. Got a spoon for that. This had a little bit of cinnamon, brown sugar, little anise extract, and lemon juice and water. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. That's sweet and tart. Mmm. I love it. I love it. I love that it's not too sweet, like fake sweet. We only have two, uh, three, well, brown sugar's not fake, but you know what I mean? Like refined. We just have the natural sugars mostly shine through. The apple really shines through. Oh, mm -mm. what a perfect little light meal. You could serve this as a side dish with a dinner, or if you just want a little snack, it's a nice snack. I hope you like this video. I feel like I rushed through it a little bit, but it still took me a couple of hours. It takes a while when you're videotaping. It's just, just, it doesn't flow like when you're regular cooking. So this is a lot quicker than probably this video will be because it was 30 minutes to cook the applesauce, 15 minutes of prep for that, about 15 minutes of, eh, maybe 20 minutes of prep for your potatoes you got to scrub them, peel them, grate them, then you got to get the liquid out. But the ingredients, whereas you see, there's just a few ingredients. So I hope you give it a try. If you like it, let me know in the comments. And hey, go ahead. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that today. And also my free ebook is coming out seven steps to hosting a stress-free Thanksgiving. And we're going to have a bunch of, now all our videos from here till Thanksgiving are probably going to be mostly all Thanksgiving, getting you ready with side dishes, desserts, appetizers, and there we go. So, hey, have a great day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.